Archaeology. The Final Frontier. These are the voyages of Dr. Armored Chocobo. Archaeologist. I was going to do Cricket as a Let's Play, but uh, then this game suddenly came to my attention. And I think it needs more attention. It's even doing the spooky season stuff right now. We just adjust the volume because things are going to get a little Egypt and archaeological. This is called uh, Forewarned. It is a phas phasmophobia type game that has a little bit of a, so a solo element to it as well. So I could actually play it by myself without needing friends. We'll get to that at the end of the video. You do the archaeology. You're an archaeologist. Or at least an intern. Welcome to the Kasugi Academy. We have a Halloween going on. Only six days left until Halloween. Spooky. I'm intending to do at least a couple videos of this. And I might include this in the Halloween stream I was going to do on Wednesday anyway. Along with uh, another long, uh, semi-long form Hall Halloween game. But I saw this played by Vinesus like a day ago. And I was like, this game is amazing. Why did this not get attention? It was made in 2021. Phasmagoria sucked up all the attention. So I'm going to give it attention. There's even a seasonal thing going on right now. I have played a little bit of it. To get my bearings. Like, um, I, I had a particularly good run where I almost got to the very end. And I had to, um, I had to leave because I couldn't find the last piece I need. So, I, I, I cut my losses and just went ahead and just, I just left. I forget, uh, oh wait, you know what? I just picked, uh, Sharkle, what are you doing here? Wait a second, I just noticed Sharkle's here. Sharkle, you gotta go away. This is too spooky for you. You might come back later. So I picked a random level. I'm not familiar with this level. I only did like two. They have uh, random Egypt pumpkins all over the place. In every map, there's like four of them. You could go looking for them. And uh, you could unlock an Anubis, an Anubis face. That seems archaeologically normal, right? Yeah, I agree. That's archaeologically normal. I should know. I'm the professor. And some interns went lost in here. This place is recorded as a new wild level threat. Pretty low. Pretty low on the danger scale. Nothing to worry about, just an Aurora Borealis. So you got your stuff. It's very much a phasmophobia type game, where you have ghost hunting equipment and several other things. Like a torch. Torch is useful. It's, it's going to be like the only weapon type thing you have. Flashlight. A tablet that I've hardly found any use for yet. I think this is mostly for uh, somebody manning the base that could see through somebody's eyes. So I don't feel like that's going to be necessary for a solo expedition. Compass, of course. This detects magnetic anomalies. We might bring that with us. A spirit box that uh, lets us talk to ghosts. Camera is almost always necessary, so I'm going to keep that with me. First aid kit. Um, this is the seismometer. Because ghosts be moving and shaking. This is a Geiger counter for finding, uh, you know, um, uh, the Harkonnen command chairs and penis structures. And uh, Okay, this is actually another weapon. It's limited use, but it's a weapon. Egypt stuff. You don't need to understand it. All you need to understand is we're going to get fat prizes. I'm going to find out what happened to my interns. Where are we at? 
Abu Mingar, Egypt. I don't believe that's a real place. You have some objectives to do. Main objective. Find the relic of the Magi. You could prove their existence. You could photograph their sarcophagus. Explore. Find some evidence of dead people. Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Reports of past explorations. That might be a lore sheet. Find hieroglyphs, get gold pieces, find rare treasure. Those are all bonus stuff. The main goal is to, to find the, the Magi thing. I'm going to take the spirit box. That probably won't, uh, that won't activate until we get into the ruins. And I'll take the seismometer. And since I already bought the belt upgrade so I could carry more stuff. Because I'm playing solo, obviously. I'll just... The tablet is good for one thing. It has a night vision sensor. If a ghost is manipulating something, you could see their fingerprints, or their, their scratches, or a pumpkin. Or me. Th that's not me. It's a ghost. That's what that is. The ghost of the archaeologist. I only found two pumpkins. I'm not quite sure where the rest of the pumpkins would be. I have had very little time with this game so far. I thought a pumpkin would be up on this hill, but I can't seem to climb out of here. Pumpkin back here? No. This is how you end the game. You bring the relic or you close that door. And you leave. But you don't want to wuss out until doing a lot of archaeology, right? So let's do that. Enter the tomb. There'll never be music this whole time, because this game really goes on the ambient spooky. The tomb. I think I've been in this tomb. I think this is the Great Pyramid's tomb, or something that looks like it. That is a... That's a prison. Oh, there's a prison room here. I just l recently learned there's symbols on these. That means it's a prison. There's secret rooms in every level. I've upgraded my hard hat. I upgraded my flashlight. I haven't upgraded the torch yet, but I have upgraded the camera. It's got five shots instead of three. I don't have the dynamite yet. So I can't Zelda open that. That's clearly something I could Zelda open. And you're trying to figure out what ghost you got. There's seven ghosts. They all act differently. Both as spirits and as physical anomalies. Yep, it's back to anomalies again. So yeah, um, I'm on observation duty. The exit eight. It's never left. It just turned into archaeology. Um, okay, that was a statue. I'm not sure what the noises mean, but... Seismometer. If it goes to 10 or higher, we got tremors. And not the worms, even though uh, I, I would be very worried about worms. I don't see anything moving around. Ah, okay. We have electrical interference. It's messing with my flashlight. Somebody's spooking my flashlight. Stop. Thank you. Evidence. Uh, electronic disturbances. We need to get more phenomena. Ph do, 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 do. There's also traps, so be wary of those. I don't think there's a lot of instant death traps, but there are a lot of... How the hell am I going to get over there kind of traps? I'm worried about trying to jump over that. That might be instant death. Oh! Spooky! Screw you, Spooky! 
Okay, I never ran across that scare before. Um, that's the go back to the entrance ghost. Common in archaeology. Good old go back to the entrance ghost. You call him uh, Gabate. Good old Gabate. Always freaking people out. Yeah, I never ran across that spooky before. That one caught me by surprise. Like I said, I played very little. Ooh. Okay, camera could go there for right now, because it's not good for finding phenomena. This is a hieroglyph, a hieroglyph lore. This is part of our optional, so pop that in there. That gives me some bonus gold at the end. Bonus EXP, too. Main thing you would like to have... No! Gabate, no! Don't you do it! Oh. Um... Okay, that is... That is, uh, manipulation. That's a manipulation. Disturbed tombs, I believe that's considered. The ghost is playing around with his own tombs, and there's mummies in there. Um, that's the prison room. I need to find the other switch for the prison. Is this, the switch still look a lot like that one. Treasure chest. Cannot pick jar. These are necessary for the final phase of the entire game. So that's going to hang out there until I can find uh, the, the rest of his buddies. Are we getting uh, are we getting flames blown out too? There's the Zelda door. I think we might get in flames blown out because I swear I've lit those. Gabate! Don't don't do it, man. You got me once today, all right? Once a week is enough. Ah. He's always in ruin. He loves ruins. He loves ruins so much. Can I open these? Yes. And there's some money in here. I'll put it into the fund. Ah, mummy. That's the Crypt Keeper. He's also here, too. I mean, he doesn't have much to do with his day. Um, I'm going to need the camera for this, because it does say that I needed pictures of mummified remains. And that is a mummified remain I could take a picture of. Say cheese! Any more gold in here? I don't like sarcophagi with mummy in them, because one of the abilities of ghosts... Okay, what was that? Um, that was... Is that Tomb Destruction? I don't know if that counts as Tomb Destruction, but, uh, we missed those going crazy. Keep an eye on those mummies. If they move, that's a reanimation. But I want to check around... Glowing? Rare treasure! Okay, I never ran across this before, obviously, because I'm getting a tutorial of it. Alright, I got rare treasure. No, Gabate. Piss off. Okay, we, we, we do have uh, flames getting extinguished. That's the... That's the ghostly wind... of... Uh, Gas and Hotep. Alright, that goes in this box. That's also bonus gold in the XP. I'll put the camera back down here. Don't need that until we we're ready to open the main tomb. Um, still... Oh wait, okay, that's activated. Still haven't found the non-activated one. Zelda door? It's good to keep, like, your bearings. In a place like this? 
It's gonna get spookier, folks. We're we're only in the spiritual spiritual phase. Okay. Okay, that makes me very nervous when the, the, the floors are bumpy like that. And I see I see a skeleton wanna giving my giving me a high five. I don't think there's many instant kill traps. They're just ones that'll just hurt you a whole bunch. Monkey! Yes, I understand you love flashlights. Nothing in there. Monkey, did you eat it? Calm down, monkey. I don't know if that counts as vocal response or not. Speaking of which, um, how does this thing work? I think I have to, I have pushed to talk, so. Because it's meant to be a team game, but you could play it solo. Who are you, ghost? Wait, I think it might be Spacebar. Who are you? Silence. Hello, Silence. How are you today? Okay, I didn't get a response from that. What do you want? You made a mess. So that's the spirit box. You could talk to Ghost. And by the way, Ghost responds. That's part of him. Um, I want to go find the Geiger counter to see if that ectoplasm is radioactive or not. As you can tell, there's a light a little bit on my helmet. It's not that great. Flashlight is the way to go early on. Which way was the, was the goop? Sometimes your transmissions don't go through or the ghost just doesn't want to put up with your bullshit. So, uh, even if you ask a valid question... Oh! Okay! Not cool, man. Not cool. The spiky stuff? This is spikes, ain't it? Hello, skeleton. Okay, um... I missed out on... the radioactive stuff. I think I dropped my flashlight. Yes, I did. Geiger counter could go in there. I don't think they're gonna Geiger counter... I don't think they're gonna Geiger counter me... in an easy stage anyway. Plus, we have like three evidences. And also, I'm pretty sure that guy attacking me counts as reanimation. Ninety percent sure. Taking this back to the main room. Usually, the stage two area happens somewhere in the main room. Still looking for that prison. You don't mind to tell me where the prison is, right? What do you need? What do you want? Sacrifice. Sacrifice what? What do you want? Okay, he wants sacrifice. And he's not being very specific. So I'm sacrificing chicken tenders while I'm down here. You get the lint treatment. Since you don't want to be Pacific. So stop 
blowing out the candles. Do I have enough evidence to find out? No. Um. Oh, extinguished flames. Back. Back. I think I might have killed it while it was disappearing. But very nice trick. Very nice trick. The reanimation. By the way, that thing still has some regular skin on it. I got evidence of mummification, didn't I? On my my log, I should I should find a safe spot to look at my log. Oh, object destruction. Unless I did that, I'm not a hundred percent sure certain. It might be the mummy that did that. Destruction. Still nothing. Which means. Maybe not disturb tombs. Maybe it was destruction instead of disturbing the tomb. So we might have Patames the Resilient. I like saying his name wrong. Patames. Well, anyway. Um, I need to find more gold pieces. Photograph in her tomb. Hieroglyphs. Past explorations. Oh yeah, that's the skeleton giving me a high five. I need to go back in there then. Prison chamber. And find a way over to Spike Pit. I just... So I can't just jump over it, huh? I can't just jump over to Spike Pit, huh? Okay. I think we got the most that we could get out of the spirit box. But I like goofing with the ghost. Speaking of which... Yeah? You again. Uh, I don't have the... the I'm pretty sure you're Patames, though. I'm pretty sure you're Patames. Mummy! Don't do it! I know your weakness. You are weak to smooth jazz. You turn into a blubbering wreck when you get that smooth jazz in you. Oh, right. I didn't grab the camera. It's a good thing I have it on uh, easy, which means you have unlimited time to solve the mystery. Normal, you get 10 minutes to find your way into the inner tomb. On hard, you get like 6 minutes, 30 seconds. And on brutal, you get like 4 minutes. But you get an experience bonus. Alright, high five, skeleton. That sound means I did something good. And as you complete more objectives, the ghost gets more and more pissed off. Yeah, I'm not sure... I'm not sure how you solve this. I never ran across this problem before. I thought you would need to get like a wood plank or maybe just jump for it. I'm still looking for that other switch for the prison. There's two switches for the prison. That's the eye. Might as well take a shot at it. Patames is beetle juice. A, a beetle weed. Beetle wheat. Oh. Oh. Okay. It was a patames. We got something wrong. It has now manifested the Magi physically. It's in hunt mode. And we don't know who we're up against. Um. Yeah, I never seen that guy before. 
That's a new pharaoh. I'm not sure what he's capable of, but a blue switch has spawned somewhere in the tomb. We need to activate that and get the heck out of here. Oh. Uh. Nice. Oh. Do I have to stare at you? You did vanish the last time I stared at you. I don't like... I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't, I don't know who that guy is. i never seen him before in my life. Did it turn the light off? I think... He might be photosensitive. So don't shine the light at him. Or we're leaving. We're leaving. I made a wrong guess, but I did get some bonus stuff. Got the lore page, got the rare treasure, found the find a way across the I didn't find a way across the spike trap room. I didn't. I must have missed something. But I did not get the relic. This expedition was a failure, but at least I didn't die. Sometimes archaeology be like that. Question is, do I want to try another one? Just make this a long video. So we could try a successful run. All right, let's uh, let's take a look. See, sixty-two gold pieces. Found a lore page, rare treasure. Apparently, I mapped all the ruins. Photographs. So I got some EXP. I'm level nine now. Golden pot of Anubis. It was Nekref the Shadow. So I think I could look at my log and we could... Okay, I can't look at my log here. The next time, next time I get a chance to look at my log. New items available. Okay, I got some spending money. Seismometer too. Slightly faster calibration. Some flags to leave uh, markers. There's the metal detector. That's used on the, the green spots. I can't buy the dynamite yet. I'll, I'll buy the metal detector. It'll be available on every run now. The Kasugi Academy will cover all expenses. So you can just leave your tools in the ruin when they're no longer of use. Um, let's try something I've done before. Especially one the hidden city of the Sahara. I've been here. Actually, that was my run right before I started. So we're going to try this one again. This one I have a bit more knowledge with. Just a big sand dune in the desert city. There's a pumpkin. I left that there intentionally. Like I thought I was going to be back here. That's an invisible wall. I remember finding a pumpkin back in the alley. Yeah, there's another one here. I think that might be all of them for this one. It's usually four per map. The higher your level, the more maps you can get. That probably was a brand new map I just recently unlocked for hitting level eight. Okay, activate my objectives. Get out my tools. Flashlight. Torch. Um... Camera. Those are usually necessary. Spirit box. Uh, 
I'll bring the Seismo and the Metal Detector. So, it looks like there is no prison this time. Unless I have to get in there first. Light it up, baby. I wonder if I'm going to get Mr. St uh, Mr. Spooky, which is all of them. But uh, there, there's one in particular that is particularly spooky. So, that's a treasure room. That's a treasure room, room lever. Because it, it has clothes drying on it. All right, I keep on forgetting about my hard hat light. Yay, money! Nothing here. Unless I gotta dynamite the ceiling. No. I should... So this is a dead end here. I never need to go in this direction. I, I feel. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna leave a red flag there. Just so I know that's a dead end. Red means bad. Green means archaeology. Okay, we got electronic disturbance. As long as it's messing with a flashlight or radio or something else electronic, you know you got that. It hasn't blown out any lamps yet. New objective discovered. I got a new objective? Traverse the bridge maze. It's got darts! Good old archaeology darts! Ghost, I'm busy. You missed. I wish there was a way to turn off the archaeology darts once I did the maze thing. Because I did the maze thing. It was amazing. I agree. Generous hitbox on these darts. Because that would totally be hitting me in the torso if that was real. Done. I did archaeology today. What did you do, ghost? Huh? Oh. Huh? What did you do, ghost? Yeah! Did you see those arrow traps? By the way, how are you? I found your lungs. Are you there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. But not a vocal yes. What do you want? What do you want? I don't think the ghost is chatty. So it's not a chatty ghost. Who are you? This is not a chatty ghost. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that into thing like a minesweeper. No vocal responses. Sometimes you can find out a ghost based on uh, what it doesn't do. Because some ghosts will never do a certain thing. So that room was just nothing but gold. Okay, that, the, 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 that was the Crypt Keeper again. This, lead, it, this led to the... Uh, the maze. So I'm going to try and leave a flag here. Make it blue. That's the the the, the 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 maze route. 
Got that. I don't think I believe I went in this direction now. This is what we need to open up. Ah, there it is. Oh, wait. That is... I don't even... One at a time! One at a time! Everybody was trying to tell me what the hell that was. Okay, that's treasure room number two. And that's the treasure room. Money, money, money. Nay. Turn around. Turn around. There's a thing there that can be found. Turn around. Turn around. A human skull on the ground. Human skull on the ground. Turn around. Actually, I think there was a canopic jar in the blue area. In that maze. Or uh, the room next to the maze. I remember seeing... I remember seeing uh, a thing somewhere. Stop interrupting me. Don't interrupt me. You lost a hundred points for that. Also, I'm going to say that flames are getting extinguished. I need to find that uh, the chest I found a canopic jar in again. To get that canopic jar where it... it will... Nice! Um... I'm not sure what they actually consider that. That might be... Um, disturbed Tombs. Or it's just a general spooky. I need to check for more spooky. Like, maybe he'll trigger the seismometer. Calibrating. We're looking for a 10 or higher on the seismometer. Ooh. Things are getting spicy. That's a tremor. Things are moving and shaking. So we no longer need the seismometer. It might be Talgor the Perilous. The Perilous. Or Paralysis. I see you. Yeah. Keep going. Is that metal? It's not metal. It might be radioactive. Where's my Geiger counter? It's... Lightly radioactive? I don't know if that counts. I'm gonna say it is anyway. Because I think it might be Talgor. That's a destruction. It keeps on saying Talgor. This is the prison room. This is what I'm trying to open. But... I think I need to find the other switch. We might as well try it. Well, actually, we might as well not try it, because I'm not done exploring this area yet. Messy. Messy, messy, messy. Messy! Also, I see rare treasure. And bones! Air treasure. Uh, stop looking at me like that. Please stop. You make the Lord very nervous. 
This is the bust of Ram Raisin the Seventeenth's third cousin, Inbred. Get in there. So at the, at the very least, we got some treasure. At the very least, we got some treasure. We got two canopic jars. Usually all the canopic jars are in this upper area. I say usually, because sometimes they could show up in the second area instead. That's the treasure room. He's destroying more stuff. He's getting particularly pissy now. Because I took his bust. That was his favorite cousin. He just blew out the, the, the things in this room. Talgor! You sound like shampoo. Just saying. Ah. Uh, wondering where I haven't been. You got that again. That might be the prison. Yep, that's prison. Ghost. He pecked off when I shined the flashlight at him. So I found the prison room. That's an extra bonus. So, that's the treasure room. That's, uh... Yeah, I think we've checked that in the area entirely. I have a feeling that the other canopic jars might be in the second area. Or they're inside the sarcophagus room. You keep on breaking your crap! It's not my fault when your crap breaks when you're breaking your crap. You have anger issues, Talgor. Just say it. Just say it. You might need to work that out over the next few millennia. Because I am paid to raid your tomb, not to be your ter therapist. You get me? Sometimes you got just got to show these ghosts who's boss. Or... Dead or alive, they'll walk all over you. Starman. He's the Starman. Waiting in the night. Hi. Yeah. Okay, we got Talgor. Talgor the Perilous. He likes to destroy objects, obviously. He's radioactive. Electronic disturbance. He causes tremors. Magnetic distortion, he reanimates corpses. Now we have to deal with his physical traits. He's invisible. I need the tablet. I actually need the tablet for once, because we otherwise we can't see this guy. Thanks for letting me know. Tablet time. I think it might be the night vision sensor, so I'll just turn that on immediately. Okay, wh what else do we got? Uh, disturbs night vision, okay. Absorbs flames. Talking slows him. Oh, good! It's a good thing I'm let's playing this. Because talking is all that I'm doing. Disturbs the night vision. And the night vision slightly disturbed. The question is, do I have to, like, I, I have to key up with the V, right? I'm pretty sure. Or with the watch. So I'm going to have to talk to him like this. He's the opposite of another guy I know. Welcome, you're on candid camera. I have evidence of you now, sir. Nice onk. You don't mind if I take this, right? Surely you don't mind if I take that. No, he minds if I take that. Look, buddy, you're now physical. 
Hey! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Okay! Well, that's what happens when they get you. Um, I was holding down space to talk to him. Talgo's invisible because seen looking through the tablet. Oh, don't use night vision. Can be heard when nearby and absorbs flames. Speak out loud or turn on a radio. I don't have the radio. But... It's... Death is only the beginning. Hey, Nubis, where are we going? Hey. So I think in easy mode... You have crossed into the world of the dead. I think on easy mode... When you're playing solo, you kind of have infinite lives. But if you're playing on multiplayer, you get another two options. You could be an evil mummy... Or a good mummy. Or you could revive once. Evil mummies, their objective is to kill the other players. Good mummies help the other players. Where am I at? Oh, the dead end room. Okay. But the problem is... I don't know how to talk to this guy. That's one of the problems, is I don't know how to talk to this guy. Do I have to keep this up the whole time? I can stun him with the power of my voice. Maybe. Hey! You put my fire out. Dude! Don't make me come in there. I will sing you the song of my people. Do you see Banana Man? Hopping over on the white hot sand. Here he come with some for me. Yeah. I knew you didn't want any of that. Um, where does my stuff go? Okay, there it is. Okay. Give me the tablet. So I could drop it on the ground. So I could see him. Um, I don't need the torch. I don't think I need the spirit box. Okay, we could see him with this. And then I could talk to him with this. I think it worked last time. The problem is I can't use a flashlight and this at the same time. And I have to look for the, the, the blue, um, the blue whatchamacallit. Maybe I have to be like a certain number of bars on this to repel him. But, uh... Yeah, this guy, I think it might be the streamer's bane. Or, uh, the bane, the streamers might be banes of him. I don't know. But, uh, he doesn't like when people talk. Stay back, man. Shoo! Be gone! Get out of here. I will sing Banana Man again. We actually... The thing is, I don't know, um, did he keep talking and get away from it? Because he seemed like he was just approaching anyway. He seemed like he was just approaching anyway. Man, this guy's tough, huh? Like, talking stuns him, but I'm not sure what's registering his talking. I'm in the boner room now. I'm in the boner room. I might want to just take the relic and leave. Because uh, I'm. St it's not clear. Devs, it's not clear what I have to be talking with them with. Because I know the microphone is only picked up on certain opportunities. And even I can't be talking all the time. Seriously. It's hammer time.
Freshly taken from banana tree. Banana man me want a ton. Okay. Give me double and the bonus one. Give me more for all my friends. This banana time never end. Do you want a banana? Peel it down and go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do you want a banana? This banana for you. He might like the Banana Man song. I, I don't know. He hasn't shown up in a little while. He might like banana. Oh, now I know what to put on the thumbnail. Yeah, I'm going to find my relic and I'm going to get the peck out of here. The next time I do a video, we'll attempt the other phase. Because I've only found two canopic jars. I need four. Tonight we dance around the flame. And we get to play spirit game. Spirit names we shout out loud. Shake the thunder from the spirit cloud. All the songbirds in the tree. He's in there. I think he's guarding his relic. Santa Tuna makes spirits free. And we see them in the night. Spirit is jumping by the firelight. Do you want a banana? He's not leaving that area. And I'm not sure how to get him out of that area. Really, dude? I'm not sure how to lure him out of there. It's hard to tell, considering he's invisible. Oh, okay, you get only limited lives with that. Yeah. I need to learn, I need to learn a bit more about that game, because that's the first time I ran across that dude. So I need to figure out what to do about all that. But, uh, yeah. This is a pretty, this pretty good game, just solo, especially for Halloween. And, oh, yeah, the... Oh, you know what? I, wow, I could change my... Th wow, I, I could change my... I could change my look, so next time I'll have a different look. Change your appearance in the mirror. Yeah, I done screwed up. You died. Negative 40. Oh well. No gold. I'll learn more about this. I'll learn how to deal with Talgor. But my proposal is, this game is like 13 bucks on Steam. If anybody is interested in teaming up with me on this game, maybe like once a month for a stream? It could be the professor and three interns going to do archaeology. And we could do like a ghost or two. Because that'll take about two hours. Especially with four people. Just putting it out there. Look at that. At least I got that. At least I got the pot. And that's all that matters right now. We'll see. We'll see more of this in maybe a day or two. And also the Wednesday stream I'm thinking about adding this into. Who knows? Maybe by then, we'll, maybe we'll have some takers. So yeah. If you want to do that, let me know... On either, like, Blue Sky, or directly on Steam. My Steam thing is in the description. Or even in the comments. Somewhere. Just somewhere. And we'll see what we can work out. Stream time will be regular stream time. Which is whatever that is for you. 7 p.m. Eastern for me.
I'll be back. Good night, folks.